What is up guys, TSL here, back with a brand new video. In today's video, we are back in our SPTS game, and in today's video, we'll be adding the, the death screen and the play button that Super Power Training Simulator has. So the first thing we'll do is, I guess, the play button. So let's go into start GUI, make a new screen GUI, and this is going to be like menu. Call it menu. Uh, we'll insert a frame in it, and first thing we want to do is on our screen GUI, first of all, set ignore GUI and set to true, so that this can actually take up the whole screen without like the little top being uh, shown. So if we set this to 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0, and then we just, or actually, we don't need to do that. Let's Let's just add in a text button. This is going to be the start button and actually I yeah, will make a frame and set it to 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0 background transparency 1 start button in here rename the frame to start or like play frame then we can name this to play button and we can set the size to like 0 0.1 comma 0 comma 0 0.1 comma 0 then just stretch it out to like about this size which is 0 0.27 let's do 0 0.275 comma 0 comma 0 0.1 comma 0 we'll place that like right around here insert a UI corner to round the corners we'll up this to like 20 and then we'll customize this a little like maybe I think they used like a red button with like yellow text in the original game, so we'll do that because why not? Um, yeah, a font like that looks pretty similar. And then right play, and then set it to like some yellowish orange thing. Like something like that. And we can give the text stroke transparency to zero. So we should have something like this right now. Um, yeah. All right. <clears throat> so next, let's just add in the text label, and this will say, uh, "How about?" Or we'll name it the uh, title, and then this will just be like uh, "Super Power Training." Simulator Remake Something like that and then we can take this and we can make the size about 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0 uh, We can up the text size or just put text scale to true get rid of this background Give it the same font that we did over here uh, we can actually widen this. Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. We can grab this or the title and we can actually make the width 0 0.75 and then set the position to 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0 and anchor point to 0.5 comma 0.5 and then we can actually move this up a little bit and let's just grab the same text color that we had here place it right here and also give it the text stroke alright so this is going to be our screen now another thing we'll want to do is in our script like when we load the screen we want to hide all the UI until we click the play button and all the UI will come in and also I'm pretty sure it had a like blur in the background so what we're going to do is go into lighting and add in this blur effect and right now just make it, put it up to like about I think 17 and just set that enable to false all right so now what we're gonna do is go in actually we can keep it yeah just keep it off for now so what we're gonna do is insert a local script into this uh, play frame so what we're going to do is first of all get our local players a service and that's going to be game colon get service players then we'll have some variables 
and we'll have our player is equal to players dot local player and our local player GUI is equal to player dot player GUI um, next we'll have our loops and basically what we're gonna do is for underscore comma uh, child in pairs of our player GUI going get children do is if our child is a GUI uh, GUI base that or and child is equal to or what we'll do yeah so if child if not child is a GUI base so in this case if it's a local script or our child is equal to uh, script dot parent dot parent then continue and so this is saying if this is like not a GUI or this GUI that we're currently looped on is equal to the menu then we just continue to the next iteration and if it's not then what we want to do is set the child dot enabled equal to false and we also want to get another service up here local lighting is equal to game cone get service lighting and let's just add a comment all right so then here we'll say uh, and we'll add a local blur is equal to lighting dot blur then here we'll say blur dot enabled is equal to true um, so basically that's actually that should be it for loading this up and yeah so then what we want to do so what we want to do here now or actually that's not what I meant to say let's actually yeah let's we can close this we can add the play button local script and um, here we will just say um, basically we'll get our services again so local lighting is equal to game colon get service lighting and we'll have our local players is equal to game colon get service players here we'll have our variables again so our local player is equal to players dot local player local player GUI is equal to player dot player GUI and our local blur is equal to lighting dot blur here we'll have our connection which will be script dot parent dot mouse button when click colon connect function and when we click the button what we want to happen is first of all we want to let's just open the script basically we want to do the reverse of this script so we'll copy all of this and we'll say that this is equal to true and then we want to say script dot parent dot parent dot enable or dot parent dot enabled is equal to true and this should be have an extra dot parent as well or and this should be false this should also be false all right so now what you let's uh, save this to roblox first of all and if we play the game now when we load up you see this is what we have all right well that is working pretty well other than well I mean you could still move and stuff and you still have to save something because that loads in after but as you see we have that going so what we also want to do is when we load this up we'll say um, local we'll give it a local character is equal to player dot character or player dot character added colon wait so this will just get the player but if it's not loaded it'll wait for it to load and then get the character uh, and here we want to say character dot he or yeah character dot humanoid root part dot anchored is 
just equal to true. And then now if we play, now we can't move or we still can. And now we can't because our character was loading in it. Yeah. All right, so that works now. And now we want to make the, um, the death screen. So we can just make this visible to false for now. And then we can just say frame death screen. So then in here, we'll actually also say um, this, this, and script.parent.visible is equal to true. All right, so let's go back to our death screen and we'll basically have something similar going. 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0 and this one will actually let's just do a just whoops wrong thing let's just do a plain black screen with some text that says you died so we can make this the same size background color that uh, we will get the same color of text so that we could put that right here text scale to true you died and get the same font and yeah that should work all right so uh, we could just call this text anyways that doesn't really matter so now what we want to do is I guess what we can do is could have a let's go into starter character scripts or no Let's just add a local script in here. And this will say local players is equal to game colon get service players. And we'll have a um, some variables. Local player is equal to players dot local player. And uh, we'll say local character. Is equal to player dot character or player dot character added colon await and then here what we want to say is we'll have a connection and this will be character dot humanoid dot died colon connect function and what we can do is we could have a local human oid is equal to character colon wait for child humanoid. Then we can just say humanoid. All right, so then here what we want to do is script.parent.visible is equal to true. Um, and yeah, so then what we can do is we can do a task.delay of let's say like two seconds and we'll add a and we'll have a callback and this is basically going to make uh, script dot parent dot visible equal to false and script dot parent dot parent dot play frame dot visible equal to true and um, we'll also just copy this pretty much and we'll need some extra variables like this or the blur we'll need. We'll also need the local player GUI is equal to player dot player GUI local lighting is equal to game cone get service lighting. Alright, and this should be good. This will basically run two seconds after this. All right, so let's go ahead and try this out. Uh, first of all, we have to make this visible to false. So if we go ahead and click play, um, all right, we got something wrong here. Humanoid root part, all right, so we'll say local HRP is equal to character colon wait for child 
humanoid root part and we'll say hrp.anchored is equal to true. All right, so now we have our GUI here. We can't move, we click play, the GUI goes away and uh, don't mind this GUI. Uh, I'm gonna just, yeah. Anyways, if we go ahead and reset. All right, so the death screen didn't come up, but this did. Oh, okay, so all right, if we just comment this out, I'm curious to see what happens. Also, yeah, let's click play, we die. All right, so it's still, all right, so I guess we don't need this either way, but what we want to do, actually what we should do is make this all one script. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to add a local script inside of the menu and we're going to add all of our variables. So we'll add our variables, then we'll add our loop or actually we'll have a function. So let's make some functions. And the first one local function will be to show um, show play screen and basically this is just going to take all of this stuff and put that in here so then we can delete the local script in the play frame already and then we want to do the stuff in our death screen so what we can do is we can have a connection and this will basically first of all we want to call this function once at the start of the game already and basically here what we'll do is script dot or what are we doing we could just copy this and we'll have to change script dot parent dot visible to script dot parent dot death screen also, we need our humanoid variable, so we'll copy that over, and now we should be good. So if we go ahead and delete the local script in the death screen as well, if we go ahead and play this now, all right, we have an error, visible is not a valid member of screen GUI, all right. So this has to be script.parent.playframe.visible. Okay. So the thing has is not here for some reason. Our uh, playframe visible is false. If we set it to true, it should. So if we print set it prints out set all of our GUIs are gone except for the safe zone but it is not showing us our thing because this has to be uh, script dot parent because it's setting our um, main GUI or menu GUI to enabled false as well. So if we play this now, let's go ahead and reset. Alright, so 
once again, that didn't work exactly. If we remove that, we put that in here, show play screen, and we'll say here. We'll have a call, and we'll just do show play screen, and we'll say like true, and this will say first. And we'll say if first, and then here we'll have like a local past first is equal to false. If first, then past first, end, or past first is equal to true. And then we'll say here we'll say if not past first, then that and then here we can just do false. So now hopefully this will work. Alright, it's here. Click play. We reset. The death screen still didn't show up and this still does. So. Okay, so the menu is once again disabled. And that is because in our play button, what we were supposed to do is instead of script.parent.parent.enabled, script.parent.parent.play button, that play frame that visible is equal to false. All right, so now this will all work. So if we just close out everything, um, also let's set the respawn time back to two. That's why we're waiting to. And if we play this now, we have our play, our play, click play, we reset, we have our dead frame, we just have to hide all that and that'll be fine. So what we can do is just go into our starter, GUI, menu, local script, and we can have a local function hide, and we'll do that, and then we can call hide here, and we can also call hide here. And now, if we play this for the last time, play, reset, you died, and then this. All right, cool. All right, well, that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as it really helps me out and motivates me to keep making videos for you guys. Other than that, I'll see you in our next one. Bye.